Welcome to another video blog of Telos Time Location Software. My name is Thorsten Balthasar and I would like to show you how to display two sub-projects with different distance axes. One very common way displaying a time distance diagram is having a distance axis going from the left to the right and in the time distance diagram some uh, different tasks. But some projects need special display options. For example, you want to display the distance axis not from the left to the right, but from the right to the left. Or your project consists of two or more different axes or different distances and you want to display all these distances on one page. In a Telos view, you can display one project, the blue one on the left side, and another project with another distance axis on the right side. You're using two different projects, showing also two different um, containers of project data. That means on the left side, you have different tasks than on the right side. You may use this concept also for displaying different stages of the same project, uh, for example, displaying a scenario. With our common template file, I have already created a time distance diagram showing the blue uh, sub-project. I have renamed the sub-project to blue line and I have inserted some blue tasks in this sub-project. I have also created a distance profile named blue line um, that is displaying the special points blue 1, blue 2, blue 3 of the distance axis of the blue line. It is also used to display the grid information. Here you see it are the points on station 1500, 3000 and 4500 and they are displayed here on the distance axis for the blue line going from 1000 to 6000 meter. If I need to change the direction of the distance axis, it is easy just to select the time distance cell, going to the cell settings where you can select start and end of this cell and where you can also select distance axis descending, that means it is displayed on the screen in the other direction. Now the distance axis is starting at the left at 6000 going to the right to 1000. This is just a mirror along the distance axis. Now it is displayed in the other direction. To display a second sub-project it has to be created first. So right click on the sub-projects folder and create a new sub-project and maybe I just name it red line. Now there is a separate project, a separate container for new tasks with an own start and end distance. And maybe this project starts at 2000 and is going to 8. Meters. It is important that start date is smaller, uh, start distance is smaller than end distance. I also create a list of special points for my red line project. So I right click on distance profiles, create a new distance profile, name it red line, and just create some points, maybe um, 3000 with the name red 1, 4500 with the name red 2, and 5123 with the name red 3. Click on OK and then my red line profile is created. Now, how to display this new information in time distance diagram? I open the view time distance diagram and I add 
another row on the right side of the existing time distance diagram. This second cell I have to define. I can define in cell settings tab that it should show a time distance cell and display the red line project. For synchronizing the two time axes of this time distance cell we use the concept of the master cell. So for the right one we select that the time master cell should be the left one that we have named blue line and now this time axis for these two cells are synchronized. Now for the right time distance cell um, we can select a time grid and I decide to show an existing time grid that is called month and week that is exactly the same than on the left right and for the distance um, grid I want to create a new one. I press on plus and get the new distance grid settings um, that I just uh, call red line now. In this distance grid red line I want to display this special distance points of the distance profile red line. So I double click this first row entry and tell this um, distance grid properties to display a distance profile named red line and only display the values that are in this red line profile not an interval that is now set to zero and it will display exactly the points 3000, 4000, 500 and 5123 because I have set uh, it here to distance profile. I want to display as a text the name of this distance profile so I go to text expression press F8 key and select from the distance profile the field name that is containing the name red1, red2, red3 that we just set. I press on OK and again I press on OK and thus are these three lines now coming from the profile. If I want to display them for example in red I can now edit my distance profile, go to the dialog, select the red color, click on OK and again and then I have these red lines displayed as a grid line coming from the red line distance profile. In the next deck we have to create in this cell another distance axis, another distance scale that is now reflecting um, the special points and um, the distance area of the red line project. Clicking on that cell and looking in the cell settings tab we see this cell is still empty so before we can insert anything we have just to create uh, a new cell content. We use the cell wizard to create a distance cell containing a distance axis and ask the cell wizard also just to insert a distance scale. Again we use the distance master cell or the master cell concept and select this one that is reflecting the red one. This is the cell at the column 3 and row 3. That these two distance axes of these two cells are now synchronized and we call it scale red line. Click on create and now the scale is created and now fitting to that sub-project. Similar to the grid lines we can also tell this distance scale using the values from the red line distance profile. So I first select the distance axis chart then go to define distance cell and tell the system in the first line um, to use a distance profile called red line only display the values coming from the red line and not displaying the general numeric value but displaying with selecting F8 from the dis uh, distance profile again the name. 
I have already added some more scale lines that it looks similar to the left scale and if you like to switch the direction for maybe starting on the left with 8000 going to the right with 2000 again you can select the time distance cell that controls the others with the master uh, cell concept go to cell settings there you see there is a known distance diagram where we can also say it has you want to finish it with 1800 meters and the distance axis should be descending so now it starts at the right goes to the left at the end again to repeat this time distance cell is showing a completely different subproject named red line it's a different task container than the left one so if you insert um, new tasks they are unique in this project here if you like to display a specific uh, picture or site graphic for this red line also select the corresponding cell use the cell wizard to create a new content it is again a distance cell with no element to create the master cell is again the red line project and now this is the distance drawing cell where you now have the possibility just to draw an own distance drawing for this distance axis. Thank you for watching this Telos video blog and good luck with Telos.